question here from Ali that I think a lot of us can probably relate to. Um, so Ali wrote, I'm loving the course. It's already generated more action than, than the whole of the preceding year. That's awesome. But I do have a tendency to want to solve everything now <laughs> and some degree of frustration that my life just doesn't allow for that. Uh, you know, I, I've said this before. I, um, I do believe that we have this kind of soul intuition about uh, <laughs> eternity and sort of like our soul's real capacity to be everywhere all at once and to do everything all at once because there's no time. So we have, we have that kind of intuition that we should be able to do everything all at once <laughs> perfectly, uh, you know, and, and, and be able to experience all of it at once. And yet here we are in this, um, you know, soul gym where we have to do everything step by step and uh, be, you know, accepting of um, working within time and therefore setting good boundaries with our, with other people, of course, but also with ourselves. And part of setting boundaries with ourselves is it's okay, you know, uh, give us our, you know, give us today our daily bread. Like, like this is what has been given to me right now. This experience has been given to me right now to bring as much spirit and presence fully into this experience as possible. Yes, there's so many other things I, I want to be solving and doing and, and accomplishing and building and, and um, you know, uh, sort of systematizing or um, getting out there. But this is our daily bread. This is our moment. This is the one task that's in front of us right now. And let me bring, if, if we can bring as much, well, we talked about that in the previous lesson, working deeply, if we can bring as much of that into this task as possible, then I think we'll feel a lot of fulfillment. And Buddy totally agrees. This is okay. The one task: get comfortable in the in the papasan that his uh, cat sister is not in right now. So he he's allowed to um, <laughs> just focus on that. So, but but yeah, I mean, I, I get it in terms of business. There is. Um, always you know like oh my god there's there's all these systems we want to develop and 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 everything feels like it has to happen at once i mean right now for example i am um installing or or getting used to a brand new um system in my business that integrates mailing list with affiliate program with course platform with crm with website it's all in one. And I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> you know, I have, I have, I could totally relate to, um, you know, Ali who asked that question. Like, I want to do, I want to install the system all at once and be able to do um, this week's TLC email. In fact, will come from that new system instead of MailChimp, my old system, moving away from MailChimp finally after 12 years of using it. Um, and yet it's like, oh, my affiliate system is not set up. Oh my God, my website is not set up on the new system yet. Oh my God, my upcoming course should I set up on my new system? And it's all feels like it can happen all at once. And yet, of course, I still have to show up for calls. <laughs> I still have to prepare for meetings. I still have to, you know, um, prepare for my next course or whatever. So how do I handle all of that? You know, sort of all needs to all happen at once. Well, I just do it you know, one hour a week is kind of what I'm carving out for installing a new system, just one hour a week. And when that one hour a week, I'm like, okay, I have, everything is high priority. Everything's top priority. Of course, my website should be up on the new system. Of course, my Philly system, of course, everything. Well, it's like, it looks like everything is new system, but if everything is top priority, what is the soonest, what is the, what is the nearest deliverable? That's what I ask myself. It's like, okay, of course, I could set up my website, everything on the new system, but the, new, the nearest deliverable is my email to the TLC group. So therefore, you know, even though everything seems high priority, that's my nearest deliverable. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know, import the, the members and then send them that email, even though 
they might somehow find my website in the new system and it's not up. That's okay. I'll just put a under construction up. You know? So maybe that's the nearest deliverable, put the under construction up there. So I hope this is helpful. Uh, you know, you, you simply have to take things. For me, I recommend, you know, that you, you calendar in an hour for each of the high deliver high priority items you have in your business right now. You just got to calendar in one hour each week so that you feel like you're at least making some progress in that, whether it's half an hour or an hour. On some things, I calendar only half an hour. Half an hour is hard to make progress, but at least it's possible in half hour to plan for when that one hour is going to happen. So do you have the one hour scheduled out in your calendar, and do you follow it? That's, <laughs> that's, the, that's the next question, right? Do, do you have it scheduled out at least so that you feel like, yeah, I'm making progress on this important high priority thing, even if it's there's no near deliverable right now, I'm still making progress on it. So let me know if this is helpful.